Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about work sharing. As you might already notice, I have two Revit architecture programs opened. The reason for that is that we'll try in this small demonstration to show how two users can work on a central or a common file. I have created a small simple project and the first thing we'll do is to divide the content of the project into work sets. As default Revit is splitting it into shared levels and grids and everything else is placed in work set 1. In case you have a more complex project you can of course create more work set We'll make one called Workset 2 and apply that to the project. So far we'll just say OK to the default settings. We'll notice right away that when marking, for instance, a wall and go into its properties, you'll see that it's placed in Workset 1. The same thing will apply for the doors. If we go to our elevations, and take a look at one of our levels, we'll notice that it's being placed in work set called Shared Levels and Grid. We'll also know the new work set that we created, but for this simple project uh, we won't use it, but using work sets can be a very helpful tool with uh, working with more complex structures, um, buildings consisting of more units or more stories, for instance. When having created the work sets, we're now ready to save the project as a central or common file and in this small demonstration I've created a few folders all placed on my hard disk but normally the central folder will be placed on a server that's accessible by all the users and the local uh, folder or files will be placed on the um, different users hard drive so the first thing we want to do is to save it as a central. We have here the project called Outline Architect and we'll now call it central. And we'll notice that under options um, Revit saves 20 backups files um, in case you want to save a bit of um, space on your server. I would recommend to set it down to 2 or 3. We'll save this file as central. In real life that means that you'll save directly to your server. And after having done that, we're now able to change our work sets. And for this demonstration, all users or user 1 and 2 uh, will have um, the same access, meaning that there will be borrowers of everything within the project, so we'll change this to no and say OK. And now we're ready to synchronize with Central, meaning that we're just saving the changes to the server or to the folder called Central. Normally the different users of a project would then open the Central file and it will look something like this and then he would like to save a local copy going to save project and then go to his hard drive for user 1 and we'll call it local user 1 and when I'm saying usernames I mean the name that's been given under options uh, in this case it's user1. So, so far user1 has opened uh, the central file and has saved a local copy. In this small uh, illustration it means that he has a local copy on his hard drive, on his C drive, but uh, we also have a connection between the uh, file that's placed on the central or common file server. We're now ready to um, open the central file from user2. So I'll jump to my other program and just make sure that my user settings are set up correctly. I have here user2 
and I've just set the graphic to be inverted background so you can see the difference. So I will go to open project and I'll find the central um, file and I'll notice that when ha having saved the central a few folders has also been created for storing the backups and temporary revit files. I'll open the central file and right afterwards I will save as a local file, call it local user 2. So now I have set up my work sharing system and I'm now able to test it and I could for instance start out moving this wall. I will then go to collaborate and synchronize with central. It will save the changes back to our file server or the file is being placed on the central server. And I could then synchronize uh, on my user2 platform and I should then get the changes. One thing that's also very nice about um, the work sharing system is that if I'm moving something as user2 and haven't uh, pressed the synchronize with central and for some reason the other user would like to do the same changes he'll get a warning that as long as this has been moved uh, or changed um, then no other users are the same allowed to change the the same object so i'll cancel this and then i'll synchronize with central here and I'll do the same in user 1 and the door is then changed. Okay, I'll end for now, but I hope this small demonstration gave you an idea of the benefits of working with work sharing. Looking forward to see you next time on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.